video provides a brief overview of the course website for this semester. And here I am on the course homepage, and you'll notice in the top menu that it says home week one, and each week or each couple of weeks, depending on what I'm posting, I will have a new homepage up. And on this homepage, you will see that I include some important announcements. Uh, for week one, I start with a refreshing and humorous TikTok video. And I don't know what you think about TikTok, uh, but I think TikTok is, um, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I hate TikTok, you know, I hate it. It's chewing away at my brain. Um, it's likely funneling important information away from me. Um, but I love TikTok because I find it highly entertaining, and I've also learned a lot on TikTok, and I've been inspired. And if you're on TikTok or if you've seen it, um, there are some awesome teachers on there. So I'm not going to comment one way or the other. However, I do include a funny little one right up front on the, um, on the home announcements page. Now, on the next um, menu item um, in the upper menu... The first thing that I have under syllabus is general course information. And there's some information about me. There's my um, email address over here. Picture of me that I just took this morning in my backyard. Um, I do have office hours and I am at a distance this semester. So you can, I will, I am happy to Zoom with you or, or talk on the phone with you. Um, or work things out via email on just about any at any time that's convenient for you. So I don't have a set time. Now, as far as class meetings go, if you are not in the 403 section, but you're in the 603 graduate section, there's no class meetings ever. Um, it's all going to be asynchronous, and it'll be synchronous if you want to contact me and interact with me via Zoom. I, we might end up doing some kind of um, exam review or something that I will broadcast and you can meet then. But nothing is on the books. However, if you're in the 403 section, then we will be meeting on Mondays at 4 p.m. I have a Zoom link on this web page as well as in the course syllabus. Syllabus. Listen to that. Ooh, I'm definitely part of... Um, the Zoom generation now. I also have a link to the Zoom room here. I will say this right now, we will not be meeting every Monday, but I do not have a set schedule yet for when we are meeting because the meetings will depend on how you're doing. So we have that. Here's information about the course text that we, re we rely on this text um, fairly heavily throughout the course. It is written by somebody who I have been a fan of my whole professional life. His name is James Popham, and he is an expert in classroom assessment. He was a classroom teacher for many years, and his work is not only important and clear, but also many times rather humorous. He's kind of a funny guy, and believe it or not, the text has a lot of humor um, woven into it. I've got a, uh, some files if you want to download the course syllabus and print it off. Um, for me, I, I still tend to work off of some paper files in my life. So I would print this off because it has uh, the most recent calendar and other things. But it's up to you. Stay digital and stay clean is what I always say. But... There they are for either the 403 or the 603 section. They're a little bit different, so you can take a look at that. I've got the um, all of the things that are, that are going to be graded this semester are listed on this page, as well as the overall grading um, scale. And it's a little bit different than perhaps some of the classes you might have been in, so take a look at that. My late work policy is... Um, fairly stringent, but it kind of has to be because we have very many uh, 
we have high enrollment in, in these classes and we need to keep everybody motivated to stay on schedule. I've got information about students with disabilities. If you have an issue with anything related to this class, um, please contact me. Whether you have a, 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 a an approved disability plan or not, I want to hear from you if you need a specific accommodation. I completely understand if you have issues with reading um, or processing or whatever, um, but I do need to hear from you in advance because believe it or not, there are students who at, on occasion take advantage of the disabilities policies. And I just want to make sure that I have a relationship with you as we begin the class. Again, whether it's formal or not, I am very, very accommodating. So that's some information about the general course info. Under the syllabus menu, there's also some information about me. I've got a little bit of a multimedia file about my life that you can learn more about me. I've got some information about the music that I am currently listening to. And I've got a Spotify list that is just my liked songs for the last couple of months. You can, you can learn a lot about somebody by their Spotify liked list. So, and I think it's pretty good. So you should give it a try if you like to listen to music while you're studying or just living your life. Um, I list the course objectives both on the in the syllabus as well as on this page. If these need to be altered throughout the semester, I will let you know, but just know that they are listed here. These are really important because they provide a roadmap for what's going to be assessed formally on the course exams. And you'll learn more about that when you dive into the material. So I won't say too much about it right here. And finally, very importantly, the assignments and due date calendar. And um, I am not sure why I have updated 10 11 2024 because it hasn't, it's not even that, um, that's in the future. And it's possible that some version of myself went into the future and posted this, but I doubt it. I, it's also possible that some version of me put a zero here when it should have just been deleted. Uh, I, sometimes I don't know which version of me I'm dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be the one that's living in the future and kind of communicating back to me, or it could also be the one that just makes a lot of typos. So I'll let you decide on that. But this calendar will likely change throughout the semester somewhat. If so, I will post it on the homepage and I will make sure these edits are here. So this is a very important um, piece of information on the course website. So that does it for the course syllabus information. Every week I'm going to put a link to a listing of the of the weekly assignments. So here I have for week one, that's the week that you're hopefully watching this video in now. This is the actual page where you're watching this video on. Here I have kind of a placeholder for the video I put up la the last time I taught this class. Obviously I couldn't post the video that is the one I'm making right now because that's some kind of dark arts stuff that although I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I, well, I'll consider myself an apprentice in the dark arts, but I'm not good enough to post a video that hasn't happened yet online. Now, maybe the future version of me might be able to do that. And again, that gives you some evidence that maybe that's the, that's the version or the entity that's doing this right now. I just, I just don't know. But let me just tell you a little bit about how important these weekly assignment pages are because they tell you precisely what you should be doing on a week to week basis. And let me tell you, the way this course is structured is that I'm kind of post stuff on a weekly basis. And so I'm sort of doing it in a measured way. Some of you might think, well, why don't you just put everything up front and let me do it on my own time? Well, I can't really do that because I have a lot of assignments that I have to process at one time and then provide the whole class feedback over. And it that I just, it is, I it just can't, I can't do it. I can't own a cat. 
because of how unpredictable that kind of a life is. And con and um, it's the same thing with running a class online. So it's the same thing. So here, um, again, I, I'll provide links to the things that I'm suggesting you walk through in this week. And you'll have assignments for chapter one of the course text and um, and chapter two, although you'll learn later that you don't have to read chapter two. I'm not asking you to, but I have some information about it, some lecture information that I want you to review. And you've got some stuff in D2L to complete this week, a chapter reflection. And then there's also a very small, I think very interesting project that is also due this week. So in week one, you actually have quite a few things to do. I don't, I don't think there's any other weekly assignment page this whole semester that will be as action packed as this one is. So, but you'll find all of those up here. I'll link to them from the homepage, but just know that you can always navigate to them here. And if you get behind the previous week's assignments will also be posted here. Um, linked from the weekly assignments are the lecture pages. And right now I have posted part of part one. I've got the big picture, uh, information relevant to chapter one and then information relevant to chapter two that you're not reading, but there's some important things there. So you click on that and that will take you to some information and examples and videos that you'll want to review for those chapters. So that's in the lecture part of this. Um, there's five projects in this class and I'm going to be posting them when the week that they're assigned. And right now there's one small a, a project due this week. And so that's the only one that shows up here. Now there's some important uh, information under the more category and depending on what size of browser you're using, what size of screen you're using, this either says more or it has these sub menu categories um, listed. That's just how this website works. Uh, the resources option, menu option is very important. On it, you will note that we have some course notes files. So here we are um, for the course notes file right now I have posted part one so um, I will these will be four parts by the end of the semester um, in a few weeks you'll be referencing an, an assessment guide a development guide and that's posted here and also if you um, don't have the Popham book yet for week one you need to read chapter one and if you don't have the book yet you have a week to get it and here we have a um, I've, I've posted a copy of chapter one here. Please don't ask me for any subsequent chapters because I'm, I am at my limit for copyright um, and fair use posting just one chapter, but I can't post more. So you have a whole week to get the book or more than a week and you can get it through the bookstore, even an electronic version, or you can get it on Amazon. Um, it's not that expensive. So, um, there's, there's that. Under, um, also under resources, there's some practice files and these are going to be posted every week um, or every assignment week, I should say. These are Word documents or rather PDF documents that provide specific practice over the outcomes that are going to be measured on, the, um, on each of the course exams. So this get, provides you good practice and there's some um, answer keys in, in those as well. Also, um, I'll, at some sometimes you'll be doing text reflections in D2L, and sometimes it'll be a Word document that you'll complete and upload. Then if I have any specific other information that I want to communicate to you, I'll post it under resources. And then finally, there is a link to the D2L to website, since there are some things in D2L that you will be um, that that you'll be using. And finally, for those of you who may find themselves wanting to meet with me via Zoom, I have a link to my Zoom room um, here as well. So those are all of the things that are posted on the course website that is not part of D2L. I like the creative aspects of using just a regular website. And so I use this for now. And um, hopefully you'll find it user friendly. If you run into any snags or things that are not linked properly, please contact me and I'll be happy to quickly make changes and fix things, but 
this is going to be an important interface for this semester.